Hello everybody and welcome to Darkest Dungeon. We are here again within the Cursed Estate and it is episode 100. It is a week and a bit later than it was supposed to be but that was due to some technical issues with the game crashing and also just due to me being a little bit afraid for this run because I wanted to be very very prepared. We're going in with a crew that's been sort of meticulously picked out. I think these guys are pretty fit for the job, I hope. Um, I, I'm i I'm a bit apprehensive, but I really hope that this is going to be a crew that can pull forward. We have Angoas here, who is coming in. I'm still undecided on trinkets. I kind of have an idea of going double debuff with the uh, wounded dolly and going with on attack hit debuff for minus five accuracy and plus six crits received. But I don't really know if that's the best idea. So I maybe want to swap it out for the Legendary Bracer just for straight up damage. Uh, we've got kind of low maximum HP here. Unfortunately, everyone's diseased. But luckily, it's not too bad. We have Overfeeding, which is a disease we don't really care about too much. Then next up, we got Herbert. He's got Leprosy. But Leprosy does mean that he has a minus 15 to damage received which has a pretty big benefit. The plus 10 to stress is annoying, but we counteract that with the cherished keepsake. And then the reason we're bringing Herbert, even though he's only level 5, he does have level 6 gear though, is that we have the Sun Edge Medal. This here is going to mean that we can get stress reduction from guarding, but more importantly, on kill party buff virtue chance by 1%. Very, very important. I do believe that'll be, um, that'll last for the entire venture. Which should mean that we can gain insane virtue chances. Which is very, very helpful for dealing with stress. Also, he's got really, really good uh, stun and repurst as well. Uh, along with the fact that we have a guard built into him as well. And considering he's, he's got a little bit of prot here and high maximum HP, that should be pretty good. The only thing I'm really worried about is he does have compulsive. Suffers an intense need to do specific actions. Which means... That there's going to be from time to time where he doesn't do what we want him to. Which is problematic, but he's mainly here for this. So we should be okay. We should be okay. Then next up we've got Nick, who did just go out recently. But he's going to be coming out mainly because of Battle Ballad. Uh, as well as Inspiring Tune for the Stress Heal. Along with these uh, Bleed Attacks, which I think are going to be pretty good. We could also maybe go with Dirk Stab. For that extra bit of damage, but we'll swap to those if need be. And he's going with the full-on damage build. Again, maximum HP leaves a bit to be desired, but that dodge should counteract that somewhat. And last light plus the Matters uh, Halo should mean insane healing. And then, to round it off, we have Petra with the Silver Syringe and the Pit Fighter's Helmet for extra prot. A little bit to minus stress to counteract the Silver Syringe. And there you go. We've got 20% stress, 45%, um, and then the disease. Minus 10 accuracy. We don't care. Minus 10 damage, we don't care. Plus 20 maximum HP, really good. So very, very, very strong for us here. We also have the ability to uh, clear stress with Petra as well. But we're mainly going to be focusing on the healing aspects of everything here. I'm apprehensive about this. I don't know how it's going to go. And we're not bringing out any crystalline fellas. These, these guys are the, are the real deal. They're the real deal. I could bring out this one here, but observed. That's kind of the main reason I don't want to. And again, here, but I don't know. It's... I'd, I'd rather bring out Nick. I'm not going to lie. I'd rather bring out Nick. Nick just seems more reliable to me. Um, yeah, he does... It's, it's difficult. But I think we want to bring out our real people to this and just see how it goes. Now, I can't remember exactly um, how how we go about leaving and things like that if anyone dies during this. But hopefully we should be okay. Um, hopefully no one will die anyways. But what we're going to do is we're probably going to do this as a two-part episode. Because this is going to the next boss in this area, uh, we probably want to do this as a two-part episode. Anyways, let's grab our provisions. We're just going to grab everything. I don't know what else we need. But I'm literally just going to grab Oops, I didn't want to grab those I'm um, just going to grab everything we can here And we shall be on our way As I said, I'm a little bit scared A little bit worried that uh, this team is Somewhat in a difficult spot, I'd say But I think it's kind of the best thing we've got going on right now 
and I've I've worked alongside a few people in the Discord. I do want to give a bit of a shout out to um to T A and I S S guy again for helping out with this uh with this grouping of people. This should be relatively okay. I'm only really worried about these guys HP because it's uh, not these guys, sorry, the, these two, 35 and 33, as they're relatively low, but they do have pretty high dodge, so that should somewhat alleviate that. But anyways, let's embark and see what we can get done here the into the farmstead. Mother, price a victim. The seasons took his livelihood. I took his land. And now, uncountable years later, the comet has taken his humanity. My only regret is that I did not live to see that shoddy mill smashed to pieces by the miraculous bounty I reaped from beyond the void. Wow, that's dark. <laughs> I, I just, I'm just upset that I didn't live to see it destroyed. But anyways, we are here. We're ready to go. Let's jump on in, breach the barrier. Now, we do remember we do have to fight the miller and everything as well with this. And I'm, like I said, I'm a little scared. I have to admit I'm a little scared. But I'm really relying on things like the Battle Ballad for the plus four heal on everyone, as well as giving everyone prot, remember. Um, and we're going to stress relieve on you first, because you come into this with a little bit of stress. He is level five, so that, that is why that is. But he's got fully leveled gear, so that's not too bad. Uh, we'll start off with a parry and get the repost going on. Um, there we go. Stun chances on these guys isn't exactly super good, but we shouldn't have, uh, feel too much pain from that. The stress chances are going to be even more annoying than anything else. But this is what we're really looking for. Impale. And there you go. Minus accuracy, minus accuracy, minus accuracy. They're the sort of things we want to see. Um, and hopefully, we, they, they should benefit us immensely. As you can see already, stress is becoming more and more of an issue. Um, we're going to be taking care of stress whenever possible, as well as giving heals. We've got huge abilities to deal with stress here, so... We want to be trying to get that whenever we can. And we really want to be getting finishing blows with Herbert whenever possible. Um, so I think we go with that on you and that on you. It's going to clear your debuffs as well, hopefully. Um, I don't know if it can clear that, actually. So if we go like this here, we get a finishing blow. And everyone gets plus one virtue chance for the battle. Which is really good. How quickly the tide turns. Ow. Unfortunately, that hurt. Maybe... Just maybe, we might have made a mistake here, because that says battle, not quest. I'd assume it was a quest, and it's not. So we'll see how that ends up faring for us here. We'll see how that ends up faring. Make sure everyone's healed up. Good. And we go with Impale again. Just constantly lowering accuracy, I think, is going to be really, really good. Um, And there you go, another finishing blow. We'll see how it works. The... It might end up mattering, it might not. If it's going to end up being plus two virtue chance just for one battle, it's honestly pretty worthless. Um, but if it lasts longer, then it's going to be good. I suppose, actually, they do bring reinforcements in, so that it might end up being okay nonetheless. I might I might have missed... I, I forget how the farmstead works. It's been a while since we've been here, honestly. So for you... Any enemies we probably want to take out with you. Um, Stress-wise, I don't think we need to worry about stress-wise right now. Just keep going with the heals. And you take out these. There you go. So, yeah, this might actually be pretty good. We're, we're up to 3% additional for everyone. I think that's pretty good. We should be able to get through a good percent per, uh, per constant battle. But, yeah, it's going to seem like it's going to end once this battle ends. But that's okay. We've got to make sure to get rid of the Seeds of Madness here. Um, we want to keep this going for that insane buff to accuracy and everything. Um, I'm going to just clear stress here. I think that's more important. And go like that. There you go. Even, even a blight on top of that as well. Really good. We could go for a stun here. Your stun chance is relatively high. I'm going to go for the set up the repost again. It's not been super useful, but I think it's okay. The damage received is kind of annoying, I'll say that. Pour the ground. This guy, we got to remember, this guy can be pretty problematic with the um, shuffle he can do. He can shuffle us, and it's uh, not good. These guys aren't very resistant to bleed, surprisingly. Let's just go with that and try and get some bleed going for some extra damage. We don't have the one that lets us uh, attack through stealth. That's my bad. We should definitely have that on. 
Uh, make sure everyone's healed up. Please don't shuffle us. That I think it's I think it's this that shuffles. Yeah, there you go. And that was a pretty bad shuffle. Not gonna lie, Petra being all the way at the back this there is pretty is bad. Is um, I think we just carry on like this though. We can battle battle from back here, and we 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 help Petra get back, and then we can pierce forward. I know that means that Herbert doesn't get the kill, but that's fine. And then there you go. We're relatively in position now. Not too bad. And in comes more. Try and take out the back line guy. We don't have any pull, unfortunately. Uh, so we can't grab that guy in the back very easily. We go with Impale, as I said before. Good damage, more importantly. But the accuracy lowering is pretty fantastic. Um, let's see if we can cure this debuff off of him. I think it's just valuable to know. We can't. I don't think. We go for that again. But as you can see, we're dealing with stress very admirably right now. And honestly, even if this um, even if this player with a virtue chance doesn't end up being what we need, I still think this is going to be valuable. With the amount of crit chance this guy's got and the amount of damage he can do and the chances to stun, I think he's still a very valid party uh, party member that can make make quite a meaningful impact. And also, Herbert hasn't been out yet, so I think it's good for him to show his worth and his might to the team. I'm pretty sure the Sunlight Warriors do have some ties to the Comet. And it's, it's good for them to show their worth. Um, yes, yeah, so we go for an attack on you straight away. And... Try and finish you. Yes, we're getting a lot of finishing kills with Herbert. That's really good. We're up to plus 5% Virtue Chance already, which is pretty high, to be honest. Go for another one of these. Good healing. And, yeah, we cure you. That cure is so nice. Thank you for the suggestion of Petra, by the way. Very good suggestion. Okay, you're getting buffed. We got one of these things in as well. Can't remember what they do now. Probably want to take it out. Oh, do they just teleport us to the next battle? They do, don't they? Okay. So, we still have the virtue chance right now. I can't remember... Let's let's go and do a bit of googling and see how we do with uh, with each of these. Um, farm stead, darkest dungeon. I wanna I wanna make sure we're getting our curios right here. Um, curio. The rotted fair. Um, nothing. It's just a stress heal for a hundred. So you want to be touching that, don't you? There we go. And honestly, let's just cure you now. Eat a bit of food as well, why not? So let's just see. Do we keep the virtue chance? We do. Okay, good. We do. That's very good to know. I didn't think we would. The fact that we do is incredibly strong for us now. Um, again, we set up parry here. I know it's parry there, parry. God damn, that thing has a very high tolerance for uh, stun. But these guys don't. Even though they haven't really been stunned yet. The repost isn't exactly the most effective thing in the world. Um, go for party again. We should have very consistent healing here. Healing hopefully shouldn't be a problem. Um, I've gone a little light on the healing with Petra, but Nick is should be more than making up for that. We'll see. We'll see. This should stun. No, resist. How are they resisting at 60% chance? What, what's the chance for this? It, it, I thought it was higher than that. Anyways. Let's, let's just not think about that for now. Um, chance to some one ten, yeah. That's 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 a good amount. That's another finish. Six percent virtue. And this is what we want to see. You can be finished as well. Um, get some stress off of you, I guess. And it's good to have two different stress healers as well here. Because we want to be able to keep you for Battle Ballad, really. Battle Ballad's very important. Maybe a stun this time? Wow, we are getting unlucky. Seeds of Madness are there. Here we go for another stress heal on you, on yourself. Go for that. Heals everyone up. Good, good. And we go with Impale again here. The double kill. And then Herbert, you can finish. This is this is very this is very good. This is very good. I like this a lot. The accuracy bonuses here are so nice too. Um let's set up parry again. Just to, I like having it. There you go, we finally got a stun. That's good. Keep battle ballad going, it's very important that we do. 
Try and take out the horse first because they're very annoying. Singular. Getting it all the way down to that health this early is incredibly powerful for us. And we're able to just keep on stress healing here. Are you going to stun yourself? You are. Very well done, sir. Very well done. So the seeds, are they all stunned? Wow. Okay, Herbert, you've, you've managed to pull through. You've managed to show your might here and you've literally stunned the entire enemy force. I feel like um, I owe you a debt of gratitude and an apology. <laughs> you've done a very, very good job for us here. Um, I'm going to just clear his blight. I don't want blight on people, if possible. Um, I'm just going to go for this, even though it might get the kill. It probably will get the kill before Herbert's turn. No, it didn't. Yes. A victory. Perhaps the this is point. great. Up to 8% virtue chance additional already. I, I believe max virtue chance is like 87%. And everyone has base like 70 or something. Base like 60. So we need quite a lot before we get to the point where it's really kicking ass. But it's already doing a very good job. No finish there, unfortunately. The seeds of madness are about to crack. That's going to be kind of bad for us. We're going to take a lot of stress here. I'm just going to go for it and try and destroy one of them now. And do the same again on our next turn. Unfortunately, it didn't kill you, but the, the repost... Ah. Repost can deal one damage, I think, so it could have done. Another so the seeds. These really aren't too bad. They're annoying, but they're not too bad. This thing's definitely going to crack, yes. Also. Uh, we got horror, but I brought... um, I brought thingy, so it's okay. Loudon them. And also, we brought Petra, who can remove horror. That's good. I love the crits that we're getting here. Great damage all around. And you're getting so many kills. And as well, one other thing to note is every time he's getting a kill, he's also giving a 40% chance to stress heal everyone for two. I know that that's not amazing, but it's very good passively, considering he gets minus 20 stress and plus 10 prop from that on the side. Like, that trinket alone with just the effects that affect him are really good. The fact that he's helping his team alongside that is incredible. Or at least I'd say so. Okay, Seeds of Madness once again. Let's focus them down this time. Another There's one. one. Get that going. Yeah, but can you, can you take one of these out? Will you get a Virtue bonus? You won't. I didn't think you would, but we had to, we had to take a look. Three over one, three over one. 17, 4. Okay, definitely do that on you. And we're able to spend a lot of our time managing stress here, which is something I wasn't expecting, I have to say. That's getting kind of annoying, I'll say that, but... Reality bend. That's a lot of stress coming in, but we should be able to take a few turns to uh, deal with that somewhat. Um, yeah, let's take a few turns to deal with that, because it's getting a bit much. Take out you. Didn't even aim at you, but okay. We must have something that uh, allows us to fight the wrong thing, but works out pretty fine for us in the end. You get the kill there. More virtue chance. Up to 10% bonus. Very good. We might, we might not even need virtues. Honestly, we might not even need them. But it's so good to have that back line of defense to help us out. Okay, another Seeds of Madness here already. Battle Ballad needs it for the heal. Get one of them going. Let's take out that. That's Wait, that's only got two HP left. That's going to kill it, so that's fine. Get you a heal there. Thank you. You take that out. More Virtue chance up to 11. It's great. Awesome. Weapon that cuts on its own. Through another area. And here we go. I'm really enjoying this so far. This team has been very, very good. Um, let's have a little look, see what we got here. Um, ju this just heals party. Unfortunately, not very good for us. It unfortunately, doesn't get rid of our uh, our blight. I really thought it would. The colors alter. Haunting. Isn't this when we go to fight normal enemies now? Which is way worse. These normal enemies are so much worse. Also, why do we gain so much stress there? Um, try and take out the drummer dude first. So stress has become a bit of an issue here. We might be able to deal with it. We might not. 
Oh, I was hoping we'd get a crit there and maybe finish in one hit, but we didn't quite get it. The Doom Drums are going to be annoying. Um, 43, 44. Let's go for you first. Ow. The stress that's going to come in here is going to be kind of intense. This is not good. Impale here should help. Rex with special skills to blight and bleed, damn it. Gotta get that going. Stress is building the... There's a kill. 12% virtue, great. You need that gone. Shoulda really on his turn. Got rid of that blight. I definitely have to get rid of it now. Damn it, you didn't die. I thought you were going to die. Okay. Siphon coming in. That heals you, yep. Seeds of Madness. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. I think we still go with Battle Ballad, honestly, for the healing and everything. We need it. A time to perform beyond one's limits. You're going to die. I think we just take out that. I think that's really important to get rid of. Right, first of all, definitely get rid of that. Second of all, guarantee the kill on this dude. I know he's going to die anyways, but then we get Virtue Chance for it. I think that's really important. I'm going to go with a party heal here. Ow. That's a lot of bleed and blight on there. Petra, you should be able to deal with that in a moment. Oh, Angus, you're doing bad. You're doing bad. Fuck, this is bad. I'm scared. Honestly, I need him gone. I need him gone right now. Oh, my God. So your health is real low right now. Really, really low. That certainly helps, but we need more. There's you gone as well. This guy's going to keep doing the fucking... Stop leaving alone. <laughs> oh, that spew's so bad. This guy can fucking hurt as well. This guy's really dangerous. I I've got to keep using it. I know it's stupid, but I've got to keep using it. You need to go. Good, good. Okay, let's put everyone back in a better spot now. Oh my god. I do apologize if I'm covering my mouth a bit. I'm just kind of stressed out. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like covering my mouth because I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh, it's so tense. I love this though. It's really tense and I'm scared for everyone's life, but I do really enjoy this. This is what Darkest Dungeon's all about. No! One of them as well. Thank god we have this accuracy debuff. I don't know how much it's really been like negatively affecting the enemies but hopefully it's been a lot <laughs> stress is getting down now as well which is good yes you're gone and we get the virtue chance for that too great stuff you can take some stress down as well these two are bad these two are real bad they can deal some hefty hefty damage Roaring disengage. That just makes you invisible, doesn't it? Yeah. It's when, when he's got stealth is when he's a problem. If he does that beastly blow, I think it is. Everyone's back to full again. Try and take you out. Not quite. I'm just going to go party heal here. Make sure everyone's full up. 14 on you. You're almost dead, but you're going to get another strike in. Nice. There's this accuracy debuff paying off. Accuracy debuff paying off. Go for Impale next. It hits everything, which is great. It blights everything, which is also great. And it debuffs everything to accuracy, which is also great. All across the board, just very important for us. Um, De-stress you a bit. Uh, why not? Everyone's stress is pretty low now. Nice finish for the fucking Virtue Chance. Okay. Guys in the Discord, you're geniuses. This is just such a good build. 
I definitely see some significant issues if we take some really big hits of damage. But otherwise, I think we've got a good thing going on here. Yeah, if we take some really big hits of damage, I can totally see things going south quickly. But let's just let's just hope that doesn't happen. Take out those first. I know it's kind of a backwards way of doing things because this guy can do a lot of damage with a beastly blow, as we saw there. That's the main reason we don't like it, because he's pushing people back. And that is what we really didn't want to see. Go with Pierce. Try and take this thing out first, I think. Um... I think we just do that. It's a bit of a weird one. Move you back. You can still strike from here. Great. Great stuff. Okay. But we can we can slightly make this work. Ow. Ow, wow, 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 wow. Well, we've at the minute we've currently lost one of our healers. And Nick is on death's door. You're finally dead, but this thing's still really problematic for us. Okay, you're mostly healed up. You're hit. Don't do it again, Death Star. Oh no, not quite. Luckily, it does have this chance to get the regen as well, which is really good. Him being out of position is so bad because we lose one of our main devices to heal. This thing has so much health. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Petra, that was big. That was so good, Petra. And there's that lowered accuracy coming in clutch. Wow, that was tough. And here we take this. What do you do again? Uh, Mildred. We don't need to give her anything. Trinket, any trinket or shard subsequent encounters. Okay. Ugh. Not great. Right, um, give you some food, give you some food, 16 virtue chance on them all, this is good, this is good, we're back in it, we're back in it, okay, trample's gonna be a problem, so take out the horsey first, that's a good way of doing that, that's a very good way of doing that. Good, good. Re remove that stress. And there we go. Virtue chance and the horse gone in a single turn. We have high speed at the minute, which is also really, really good for the opening turn. I know there's not many opening turns when you're fighting like this, but it works out really well. Oh my god. I'm loving these crit heals as well. Very, very important. Impale on both of you for double crits. Double accuracy debuffs. It's not a lot of accuracy debuffs, but minus five makes a difference, I'm telling you. It does. More virtue chance. Up to 18% bonus. I told you this would scale. It would scale out of control. You do have extra stress, so let's get rid of that. There you go. Why are we taking on more stress than we have to? Pause for labor. You just healed. That wasn't really a great move by you, sir. Ballad going in. Herbert's going to get the kill on this guy, so let's go for the back line. No, I didn't get the kill. Damn it. Dang, Nebit. You've got 18, you go down to 9. Good, good. Ceaseless labor. There's that accuracy debuff coming in clutch again. I'm going to keep mentioning it, but it's going to keep being important, so... Right. He's going to pause for later. We go for the big hit now. Everyone gets the debuff. In just a moment. Hopefully we get a few crits in there as well. Right, you get that for the virtue chance. 20% is on the horizon. Beautiful. Impale, he is so important. Accuracy debuffs across the board. Everything's great. Heal the party. Ceaseless labor again. That's not too bad. Five damage. So the seeds is the annoying one. Blight along with stress. 
35 cent chance of random target. That's what affected us last time, the random targeting. You're dead. Gives us some stress relief as well. You're dead. You saved yourself, but your buddy died with that random targeting. Clear those debuffs. I don't like them. Reality bend. Ow. Taking a stress hit. That minus accuracy that hurts the most. Okay, Horsey's back again. We want to take him out as quickly as humanly possible. Let's go with those crits. Let's get in there, guys. You know the deal. There it is. 29 on a crit to start. We want a stress relief here. And there you go. Again, back to back. Beautiful, beautiful work, my guys. I cannot believe how well this is going. I, I don't want to. I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to keep saying that because we do have the um, the bosses to fight at some point, and they are uh, they are a difficult bunch. I'll say that for sure. They're a difficult bunch. We go for the seeds. Take out them first. That didn't kill the seeds. God damn it. Okay, it will actually kill it next turn though. Um. Yeah, get rid of that. Ouchie. But we got restoration for that, so it's okay. Okay, maybe we need to set up repost again. That was going kind of well when we did it last time. We are getting a bit stressed as well, so... In comes a few more. Unforgiving. Battle Ballad just keeps on going. Keeps that speed, accuracy, and crit really high. That goes. Yeah, let's set up parry this time. Because we can't get a guaranteed kill this turn. Release some stress as well. I think that's a good call. This should be our last lot of enemies, or maybe second to last. Looking at the, uh, the bar at the top there. The Repurse coming in. Battle Ballad coming out once more. And I think we just keep going with the stress relief on you and make sure we're handling it all. You guys get taken down to half. You're, you're dead. You're so dead. Thank you for the virtue chance, sir. I, this combo is, it's, it's just like an elegant dance. It's so beautiful. The way this party works together is just, it's wonderful. I'm hoping we can get a few more stress heals in before this ends. Nope. <laughs> I said that, and of course, at that very moment. A fireplace. Some sheltered corner of reality. The fireplace. Um, that's just camping. Uh, we didn't we didn't actually prep for camping. Um, but I guess we'll go for it. I did not prep for camping. Um. Close in tenuous firelight, an uneasy companionship. We don't really need the stress heal on everyone, but we don't really need the food for every for much, so I don't really think it's that big of an, that, that big of a problem. Right, um Party remove disease. See, I do want to do that because we do have some kind of bad diseases across the board. But also they're not that bad. <laughs> so maybe not. Like what what else do you have? Generic ones. One party one companion minus thirty. Um, all companions gain armor piercing. Uh, okay, party, extra dodge, accuracy, damage, prop. That's 100% what we want. We want to go for that. And 15 virtue chance of torches above. I mean, yeah, we also want massive virtue chance. And then all companions gain armor piercing. Why not? And then a bit of stress relief there. I think we're good to go. Wasn't expecting that, but I'm glad for it, I suppose. Onwards. The Colors Altar again. I <sighs> Blazing. I, I really am not a fan of this bit, but this isn't as bad because it's this area. But there is some horrible enemies around here. Start off with that. The light's still going to be good here, which is nice. 
you know, stressful incantation. Okay, we missed on two of them, which is annoying, but the other two we got. And they're the ones we want the accuracy debuffs on, so that's good. But these guys are going to end up leading to quite a lot of stress, I'd, I'd assume. We're probably going to have to be quite on it with our stress reduction here. Which is bad, because we don't ha we don't want to have to be, really. We want to be really focusing on healing more than anything. But until those two are dead, there's going to be some problems. Axe Blade. Good dodge. Keep going with that. Bit of stress relief there. Nice. In comes the stress. Nice dodge again. We needed that. That was so good. Yes, you're dead instantly. Keep on with the stress relief. Down to 35. We can hit you from that position. I love that we can hit position 3 with Herbert too. Herbert's kind of a legend for that, to be honest. I have to say. Foul warding. Foul warding's not too bad. The Seeds of Mandus is annoying, but we'll probably be able to get that with Anguis. Grab that. Luckily, these haven't been terribly bad enemies to start. Stress dealer gone. Impale. Great. Again, minus accuracy on both of them. That's been working extremely well. Like, it's been proccing pretty much every time. I'm very glad I took it, even with the uh, reduction to maximum HP. It's been very, very valuable. If not a little scary. Very, very valuable. Okay, here's the first big boy. Big boy is big. Big boy is bad. We have a lot of prop. And a lot of protection here. I think we just go for him. Yes, and that's what we hope for. Burn general. I'm going to say go for the kill there, then I realised he was guarded as I did that. So a bit stupid. Okay, we, we've managed to get stress down after those stress dealers. Uh, so we should be okay now. Our debuff here, not too bad. Once this guy hits, we're going we're gonna to be in a bad spot. That's not terrible. The stun is more annoying than anything else. The ground pound, actually one of the attacks we'd prefer him to do. Um, out of all the attacks he could do. Let's just swap positions here. I'd rather have everyone in the correct positions right away. Go for Impale here, because that's going to kill one. It's also going to get one very near to death. And I think we go for a group heal here. Very good group heal. Everyone's back to full. You are dead as well. Okay. Come on, Herbert. You can do this. Crushing blow is going to hurt. Didn't actually hurt as much as I thought it would. Not going to lie. And there you go. He's taken care of. Crystalline abrasion needs to go. Good, good. And that was a good first lot. Our second lot could be worse here, so let's get ready. We've killed them sooner than the game expected. Okay. I was expecting this at some point. We got three custom enemies. But we actually hit all of them with the debuff and all of them with the blight, which is an insanely great way to start the fight. Insanely great way to start the fight. And one of them's dead already. And we're up to 24 bonus virtue. Plus the 15 from Torch being above 60. Tor Torch is always regarded a, uh, at full while we're here. Okay, good. Lowered accuracy plus high dodge means you can't get us. This can, th these two enemies can hit pretty hard though, so we got to be we got to be wary. While they do have low HP, or at least this one does. Can be problematic. 4, 3, 14. Go for you. You're pretty much dead. In fact, we don't even need to attack you anymore. Next turn, you will die. Definitely want to get rid of that when we can. This guy's got a lot of prot, so Anguist is going to be really good for this. We got the restoration back there. That's very nice. Another one of these come in. It's okay. We remove the bleed. Go with that. Probably could have removed the bleed with Petra, but I wanted to focus on healing with her at the minute. And rightfully so. Go with Impale again. I just want to lower your accuracy. Even though you are still, you're still flapping about doing your thing. You're almost dead. Next turn, you're dead. The Empower on this guy with the stealth could be very problematic. Judgment Day, that hurts, I remember. Yep. No um, no debuff, though. We resisted that. Yet another bit of Virtue Chance. That's 25%. 
Virtue Chance is essentially guaranteed at this point. Well, it's not guaranteed, but it's at, it's at the max the game will allow. So this guy being stealthed at the minute is kind of problematic. We might as well just do this to get the two blocks. And we might as well just start stress relieving here as well. Keeping stress in check. He's got one turn of stealth remaining. I think that's this turn. It's not. Okay. Okay, we survived it though. We, we did good. We did good. And we got this again, which is just team heal, I think. Yeah. Sadly, team heal isn't exactly worth a lot, but... Hey, her. Here he is, the miller. Familiar sight of mud, rain, and ruin. So, we just want to go for full-on damage here. This guy does have a bit of prop. This is just a war of attrition. War of stress. This guy has a high stress dealing capabilities here, so keep on top of it. The master beckons. Bring him in. 24 crit on you. Awesome. I think we just line it up and keep attacking, don't we? Guard skills disabled. Okay, that's fine. I haven't really been using guard skills all that much. Okay, you're guarding him. I see. I see. Good, good. We can get rid of that air uh, on you as well. Getting rid of horror is going to be very important right now. Cracked you open. Stopped you guarding. Good stuff. You beckon once again. We haven't fought one of these guys yet. I, can, I can't remember what they do. The reaping is the attack that we don't like. That's high stress dealing, isn't it? Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Thought it was the high stress dealing attack. Seems I was wrong. Good hits. Would really like a crit, though. Would really like a crit. I'm just going to keep on it with the stress. Oh, we're getting crits with you, though. Herbert is... Herbert's been actually pulling out all the stops. He is the MVP right now. A poor harvest. We just got an achievement for every single person dodging the... Reaping coming in. That's that's what we didn't want to see. The reaping hurts. Another crit. Beautiful. You are taking him down quickly. I don't know what this guy's doing, and I'm kind of straight, weirded out about it, but we'll leave it be right now. Yeah, everyone's healed up to almost full, not quite. Please get a crit. Come on. You have the um, prop piercing. Really thought you'd be getting all the crits. Play the crops. Okay. Kind of bad. Not terrible. Master beckons once again. Now this is where it becomes more problematic. Reality bend. So first of all, clear that off here. I think we impale here. We are going to get a repost here. I'm a little bit upset by that. I think we should be okay here. Get, get a crit. Oh, I was really hoping for a crit here. Damn it. You need to heal most. We give you 10 heal rather than everyone else 4. The reaping again. Oh, that was good. That was good. Anguist took a big hit, though. Shard of growth. Oh, no. I didn't know that you could do that. You got crit restoration? Fuck you. I didn't know about this bullshit. I really don't know what's, what's best to do at the minute. Because he's... This is bad. I'm scared. I'm scared. Yes. That's great. Okay, okay, okay. That's great. One more crit from Herbert could do this. Yes, Herbert. You absolutely amazing man. Thank you, Herbert. Thank you, Herbert. That was amazing. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay, that was beautiful. Look, okay, I think we'll leave this episode off here at 44 minutes. This is going to be quite a long one if we keep going from here. So we just exit to desktop and we should be able to continue this episode from here in the next one. Either way, hope you guys have enjoyed thus far. This has been really good. Thank you for the team suggestion. Let's make sure everyone's healed up on food, actually. Um, and yeah, we'll end off the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.